it. We're going to look at Justin Matabike first and then Brandon Stevens. Uh, Matabike, really good game. Made my notes six times. Brandon Stevens made my notes in a positive way, I meant five times. So we're going to go out 11, game, 11 plays to look at. You see Matabike here. And the first thing is his anchor. Um, now, this is something that kept him off the field a little bit this year. You see him anchor right there and not get moved, and allow the others to make a play. Something that Matabike wasn't known for, struggled with a little bit. I think it kept him off the field a little bit. If he can anchor like this versus the run and allow his linebackers to clean up, that's really going to help him stay on the field, Garnett. It, it is, man. Uh, as much as there's a lot of positives in this game and all those things, but like literally that's the biggest – thing for me for him to be a, a consistent three down type of player and not just be a, a pass for a specialist or whatever. He needs to be able to do what we're watching right now consistently. He does that, man. You know, he might, you know, I don't know what the stack number is probably going to be or anything, but I just thought he'll be a solid, solid player for years to come. Also, nice job by here. If you look at Bynes and you look at Broderick Washington, the other defensive lineman, they're going to play peekaboo with, uh, I guess that's Zach Moss. You can't tell if it's Zach Moss or Singletary. Zach Moss, it looks like. Yes, Playing Zach. peekaboo in the hole, um, number 20. Yeah, so if you look at Broderick Washington next to Matabike, Matabike's right, number 96, they're going to just chase the running back to where he has no time to go, nowhere to go. All right, so anchor definitely improved. Great thing. You see him corkscrew, try to corkscrew right there his heel into the ground, his toe into the ground, rather, and uh, find off two guys here. So leverage, push, and finish. These are the things we know Meta BK for. Mm -hmm. Watch him dominate the right guard. Uh, his name's Bates. Bates had a tough day against Meta BK. Peter's going to come out of your screen, come in on this play, too. Just gets two yards of penetration, the leverage, the push, and then he's in there. You can barely see him in there on the tackle. Alec, these are the things that we know Meta BK for right here. Oh, man, it's so nice to see. You see him eating up those two guys on the play before, and on this one, just one guy, and he's like, you're going to go backwards. It's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, he's he's doing what we are all hoping for and making really big impact plays. G leverage just keeps coming up with this guy. Um, it's just ridiculous the amount of leverage and push. He can get up under you, bro, powerful, and, and move some really big guys. Yeah, man, they always say low man wins, but this dude is always low, so it, and he – Always does this, man. Bull rush, just dominates, man. I, I, that's like I said. There's a lot of positives in his game, and this is one of the front forefronts of it of his game, in my opinion. And then obviously we move on to the next one where he got his hands up. I, I just I feel like I'm not. Well, I'm going to stay away from the Aaron Donald thing, but is this the fact that I feel like he's such such so much of a cheat code? And he's only getting better and better, man. I mean, that's what I love about Matabuki. He has all the tools to be special. Uh, when he was coming out of college, out of uh, yeah, Texas A&M, or, or I think it's Texas A&M. It, it is Texas A&M. He was coming out. They already uh, they had a comp of him with uh, the guy from the Bengals. He was the defensive tackle there. They came out of Georgia. You know, you know Atkins. You know Atkins. Like, yeah. literally, you can see it. Just the burst, strength. Everything is it's, it's coming along pretty good. I just, we just need him to get sacks like Gino. That's right. But, yeah, on this play, I love how he baits, um, baits um, at Josh Allen, too. But he's not sticking his hand up right away. It's almost like, I see you. All right, bam. Like, the mm -hmm. timing, the awareness, eyes are always good. And, of course, that could have been a huge play for the Ravens' defense. Quickness and finish on this one, Alec. Can't touch him. Left tackle cannot touch him, cannot reach him. And not just the quickness, but the finish, you know, to be able to finish the running back. You can see the running back caught a little bit. Matabike doesn't lose himself and is able to finish that play off, Alec. Oh, yeah. He has a good way of making sure he doesn't overrun the play. Uh, and it's – that was beautiful. That's, and that's such a hard combination, right? You know he can blow past you if you uh, don't line up well. And if you, if you are lined up on him, he'll just out-leverage you and push through you. I mean, he's just – he has the makings of a dominant player. And, you know, obviously you don't want to compare him to a Hall of Famer, you know, or like make that the bar that he has to reach. But if you put those pieces together, that's what makes a Hall of Famer. So, you know, he, if he keeps improving, man, like who knows? He wins so easily when it happens. And this is the type of run schemes, these zone, these outside zones that the Browns run a lot. We see these from a lot of different teams in the division. Being able to split defenders like that, um, just, just a – Unique, special skill. So, Jay, we'll get you to comment on the next one here. Let's see what we have coming up. 
Bush awareness again. Look at that Bush. Beep, 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 beep. That's all you hear. Just it had that man in reverse. Like it's, it's there, man. Like I said, it's he's a grown freaking man. I know I'm not allowed to curse on him, so I'm talking my best. Like he's 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 literally gonna dominate you if you ain't if you ain't superior, you will be the inferior really really quick when he does that to you because it's just his first step is so dang fast, man. And like he's being the perfect height to me for like for defensive tackles or three tacks, it's like that six two and a half to three six three because you're just tall enough to you know to either get your hands up to make a play on the ball. And you're just short enough to get under these big six five, six six guards or guys. And you're literally you're winning if you got that first fast step because you can get inside and just do what he's doing completely. It don't matter what the hell you can do, man. It's, it's gonna you're gonna be dominated like that over right. and over. You, you can't really tell if he affects the throw or not. He may have affected the throw with his with his arm, but just the like. If you're Josh Allen, you look to that side, and all of a sudden you see 92, you see your guy getting dominated, it's got to mess with your clock. So whether his hand had something to do with the throw being off, whether he got a piece of it or not, Josh Allen looks, and it's going to make him hurry to get away. Um, the Ravens had a blitz going there, and still Matabike was the first one in. Um, so push it. Eyes through the defender. Uh, Alec, this is something that I love. It's something that I look for in prospects. He's working against 71, but he's not looking at 71. He's looking at the quarterback. He does not have to stare his guy down. Uh, players that lack instincts, you have to see You see them. They're concentrating so hard on their assignment that they're not seeing where the ball is. Matt Abike here, he's feeling it. His eyes are on Josh Allen, alters that throw. Um, not that it would have been a big play for the Bills. Um, it's just a great play by Matt Abike individually here on this play. Oh, for sure. And it, it, it's – it's a natural thing for him. That's the nice thing. Like you said, he has the comfortable, like he's comfortable enough with his assignment that he's able to disrupt these passing lanes. I mean, on the last play, in my opinion, the reason that that play, if he holds on the ball for a second longer, he's done for, you know, that push was coming. And that's what I'm kind of getting at with the pass rush. It's like, okay, well, you don't, maybe you don't win with a natural hurry or you don't win with a sack, but if they hold on to the ball a second longer, all those things would have happened and they missed the throw anyways. So does that count? You know, like if you have a little bit of foresight, I, th I think that's what makes like the pass rush really hard to grade sometimes. Yeah. I mean, Josh Allen's patting the ball here. You see it, Garnett. He wants to throw it. He has to pat it. Watch, watch Josh Allen alone here on this. I want to throw it. Nope. Got to pat it. Yeah. And of course the throw is off. Who knows? Like I said, it, probably not a big play either way, but just a great individual effort by Meta BK. So the last play I got guys is my favorite kind of play. And that's a hustle play. It's going to come up here. He actually puts a lick on Josh Allen and you'll be able to see his eyes on this play too, guys. So this play is going to go through twice uh, fast motion. I didn't slow it down. This is a regular motion. See his eyes on Allen. He's working against three different guys. He disappears from the screen and bam, he's going to lay a lick on the quarterback. Um, again, nice play by Josh Allen, but Allen's got to get down in this situation. You see Matt Abike never give up. He's not standing around. And Allen hesitation, he makes him pay. Um, you get a lot of hustle plays from Matt Abike, Garnett, a lot of plays on screen passes, stuff like that. G, you notice that in this game? Yeah, I, I did, man, and especially with this type of play. It, that just – it was – a stunt, obviously, that, that didn't get home or whatever, but the fact that, like, literally, he didn't quit, comes around, boom. You know, obviously, he, you know, Jack uh, Allen, he gave himself up on that play, but at the end of the day, you know, the hustle, you know, the, the, it was there. It was there. Nice, nice. Hey, Mr. Yuri checking in. I know. I saw. I'm late. I had a date. Man, Yuri, I, man, I hope uh, hope your date went well there, sir. I I, I want to say something else, but I won't. I mean, if he uh, late, it went well. So we're yeah, good. brain over brawn. Ab away, he goes from doing absolutely nothing to almost. He's like the king of almost right now. It is it is hurting us. We need a way to cash in on yeah. some of these plays. He I leads the league with fifteen quarterback hurries. Adafi away. So it's not that he's not doing something, but he's just not doing enough. Is uh, is uh, kind of how I feel, see it. Garnett, you want to uh, want to go no, in on? I that? was I was gonna say I was actually you know you were showing we were actually it was a Matabuke film session we're watching right. So I would say two plays ago, 
he gets blocked by uh, Stefan Diggs, like blocked. Like Stefan Diggs is controlling him, blocked. I don't know if you saw that. And it, it literally, like, if that was to have been any other like pastime Raven, like Stefan Diggs would have been, his, his butt would have been on the ground. Like he would have been, I got a free shot at a receiver. Like, you know, you, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yeah, it's, it just bothers me. I, but I'm going to try to stay, you know, stay positive on Matt BK. So, yeah. That's all right. Hey, you know, Matt BK himself, very good player, man. Very good player. We're going to need more of them because we're not very, really, very explosive on that defensive line. I mean, Washington isn't explosive. Campbell isn't explosive. JPP, I mean, he didn't look tremendously explosive to me either. A um, bunch of big, strong guys, you know what I mean? Dependable guys. It's going to be on Matabike in a way uh, to really get things going here.